The majority of people think that they need to take action before they could manifest something, that they need to work towards their manifestations in order for their manifestation, for their dreams to manifest in their reality. But in truth, manifestations work more like gifts than anything else. So how would you receive a gift? It works in a way, in the same way, in the same manner as if you would receive a gift. So when you receive a gift, what happens prior to you receiving that gift? So if you're waiting for your birthday, if you're waiting for Christmas and you have that idea that I might receive that thing, you've got hints from your external reality, from those around you. Yes, you, someone caught onto it and you're expecting it. They, you're expecting that they would get you this uh, gift, you know, just like a little child who expected, who wanted, who asked their parents for uh, you know a toy and then he was expecting it he was expecting it and then when the birthday came he got it similarly you know you build that inner momentum you build that internal momentum towards your expectation that i know i might receive this you know i know i receive it but you're not that much attached you're not in desperation for that thing you know that you don't have to put any more work towards that thing that's a major point because the moment you stop thinking, okay, I've already earned that, earned that thing. I've already had that thing. You know, it's coming one way or another. I don't need to put action towards it. You know, I'm not the one who's going to do it. I'm not the one who's going to, you know, get it to myself. It's, it's not my actions. You, as it, it happens, as if you are surrendering it to higher power, you are, you know, giving the steering wheel to a higher power to, figure out a way to get it to you to get it to manifest into your life it's just one of your alternative realities and you simply shift into it and so how would you receive a gift and that's what happens you expect it you build internal momentum you are in harmony you believe that one way or another it's gonna happen it's gonna you're gonna get that thing whether it's a musical instrument and then Perhaps you even, you know, because you really believe it, you really know that it's going to happen in your birthday, you're going to get it as a gift and it could be a musical instrument. And then you start researching, you know, how do you, how do, you know, pieces or skits to play that on, on that instrument or how to start learning that instrument. And now this is all kickstarting the process. And that's how, you know, eventually it comes to manifest into your reality in the form of a gift. You know, similarly with a game, you know, and then once it enters your life, you start playing with it. You start toying around with that thing out of love, out of passion. Not you're not working towards it in desperation that you need to take action in order for that thing to happen. It's already happened. You believe that it's going to happen one way or another. You're not attached to it. You don't feel as if you need to put any more work or take any more action towards it. And then it happens and then you start the work. And that's the reality of manifestation. Then you start playing with it. Then you start doing whatever with it. And, you know, it's out of passion and it's out of love. It's out of joy. It's not out of need to get something out of it, to have something out of it. It's not out of desperation. It's not out of fear. You've had it already. You got it already. And that's how manifestations work. You expect this, the thing. You feel it as if it's already there. You know that it's already going to happen. You build your, you set your intention and then you wait and it happens. You know, you, when you stop feeling as if you need to take any more actions, it happens. But as long as you keep feeling, I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to do this because that's going to get me there. That's going to get it here faster. That's going to do this and that's going to do that. You're manifesting, you're affirming to yourself, to your higher self, to your essence, to your energy your subconscious that this thing is still ahead of me that i'm not there yet that I, that thing is yet to manifest in my future but not now because you're doing this you're affirming that there are still several steps between you and that thing but when you stop feeling as if there are any actions that you could take that's going to make it easier for you to get there that's going to get that thing quicker to you it means that you are affirming you said you are saying you are radiating you are emitting the fact that you have already earned that thing and that's how manifestations happen you earn the thing and then you work on it then you work for it the work is always out of 
passion. It's out of love. It's inspired action rather than forced action that you need to take, that you feel desperate to take in order to get to that point. And you know, oftentimes you might feel as if something, you know, what if that thing is meant to manifest in the future? What if it's not the time for that thing now? You know, you're seeking something so deeply, something is calling onto you from so deep within you, you feel yourself so much better, you see yourself so much better with that thing, having that thing, you know, regardless of the fact that you shouldn't put that much value in external things, that you should feel good and joyful and loving and peaceful, regardless of what's happening and grateful, regardless of what's manifesting externally. But you know, a little bit on the practical side here, if you see yourself so clearly in that thing and you're being cold, you feel that you want that thing, then it's meant to happen at that point. It's not meant to happen in the future. See, the thing is, the moment you awaken to your need of something, the moment you awaken to whether it's your purpose, the moment you awaken to that thing that you want so deeply want out of life, is the exact same moment that you can have it. And that's the most important thing that you need to understand. Because some people I've noticed that they th say, or, you know, yeah, they say that, okay, what if it's not meant to, you're gonna have it, but it's not meant to happen now. It's meant to happen in the future. That's good and old, but it's not what's meant to happen. You're already in that future. What's meant to happen in the future, you still don't know about it. You still haven't awakened the need towards that thing, for that thing. You still don't feel as if you want that thing so deeply. It's not calling onto you, but the moment it starts calling onto you is the exact moment that you've earned it, that you've already deserved it, that you are already, that you have got it, already gotten in alignment and harmony with that thing. And as such, you could have it at that very moment if you choose to. But however we act and whatever we start thinking and whatever the desperation that we built and we start thinking, oh, I need to do this and I need to do that. And I need is all the limitations or all the blockages that we set between us or all the obstacles that we set between us and us having that thing and achieving that thing and living that type of life and being that type of person. It's all that we start feeling and thinking and believing once we start needing that thing. So I feel like I, I, I need a million dollars now or a loving relationship now or a successful business. I need to start the successful business now. And you know, oh, then you start thinking, you got the idea, you awaken to it, you've already deserved it. But then you start thinking, oh, I need to do this and I need to do that and I need to do all of this and that in order for me to get there. And then I will have that thing. And those are your self-limiting beliefs that you said between you and that point. And now you start complicating things and then things arise even ahead on your journey within those little things you've set for yourself. And then you complicate things much further. And that's how you delay your breakthrough. That's how you delay the shift in your reality. But the fact is, whatever is meant for you in four years, you're gonna awaken to it in four years. So whatever, if you've awakened to a need for something in your presence, in your present, if you awaken to a need for something in your present, if you started feeling today, let's say, if you started feeling today that you want that thing, I need that thing, I want that thing, you just realize it today. And then four years ago, that was meant for four years in the future. But right now, when you awaken to it, then it's meant for now, then it's meant to manifest right this moment. If you allow it to be, if you do not suddenly build a crippling attachment and desperation for that thing, if you don't suddenly start believing that you need to take a hundred different steps to get to that thing, because you know that it manifestations work just like a gift that the moment you want it, because you are the creator of your reality. You created, you partaked in the creation of all of this reality and you have the same energy that created this entire creation, this creation in its entirety. You have it flowing right here within you. You know that you could get anything into existence effortlessly. You believe that. Now, you know, this is 
this might not be as easily done as said because we 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 grew to believe that you know hard work is the way that you need to take action for everything the physical effort is appreciated more than anything else and this is a survival concept because back then our primitive brain the primitive part of the brain the reptilian brain has gotten used to this you know you survival of the fittest take action the more action you take the more physically you are hurt the more suffering you are the more you suffer physically the more you sacrifice the more you sacrifice your well-being your rest your calmness your joy your happiness you're gonna gain you're gonna you know take shelter and then go out hunting take shelter then go out hunting spend the whole day hunting in order to have one meal that's how it came that thought that's what was coded in that part of the brain and it's your choice to start to start living out of your creative centers or remain within your reptilian brain or remain functioning out of survival it is your choice so it's not as easy but it is what we were programmed on so it is it is a gradual process you could simply just choose to ignore reality choose to ignore all of what's being presented to you externally it's not out of delusion it's out of knowing who you truly are and what you're capable of ignore what's being presented externally ignore what feedback you're taking exter- externally and choose to connect only with one perspective with one vision choose to be only that thing you see yourself in nothing more nothing less and live through the joy through the love through the the gratitude the grace of being there of being that thing of having that thing and it could simply happen you know but simply you have to build enough momentum towards you ignoring that survival aspect that survival approach and focusing on that creation aspect on that creative aspect on that loving aspect and that energetic aspect so whether you choose being matter creating matter or you choose that you are energy creating matter and that's how manifestation works the moment you awaken to it you've already earned it and you could have it at this very moment it's not like you awaken to it and you have to suffer to get to that point but you simply delay it by however you react think and feel all of that contributing to your self limiting beliefs and the obstacles you create between you and that point you are meant to receive the gift and then play with it out of passion out of love out of joy out of happiness out of you know you want to do it not you're desperate for it to create something else not you're fearful of staying where you're stuck wherever you are and that's why you need to do this or that but it's yeah of course easier said than done with that being said don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel i hope clarify things for you a little bit and it helps me so much to for you to like this video and it helps this video find its way to many more others who might actually need it thank you for tuning in to another video by af's conscious frequency